I'm gonna show you how you can easily display embedded autoplaying Vimeo or YouTube videos using advanced custom fields in WordPress. And yes, this works with the free version of advanced custom fields. And we're gonna do it without any additional plugins. We're just gonna be using a little bit of code, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through everything and you're gonna see it's really easy. This works for all HTML code, so you can use it in numerous ways to embed different kinds of content. I tried a bunch of things to get this to work with no success, so I want to give a huge shout out to my dad for helping me with the code I'm about to share with you that actually works. By the way, if you're curious about how you can make sure your Vimeo videos autoplay without any controls or other elements, such as titles showing up anywhere, I have an awesome video explaining exactly that. The link will be in the description. I really recommend you check out that video first so you can take full advantage of what you're gonna learn in this video. The best part about it is that the proportions always stay the same, so it's perfectly responsive. Plus, it works with vertical videos and other formats as well. Plus, you can add in a placeholder image that shows up before the video fully loads, ensuring a smooth transition and loading experience. On top of that, you can make the actual video clickable, so it's the perfect solution for displaying projects or product videos or anything like that. It works great with Elementor's loop grids. It's just an awesome video and it's really simple to do, so check it out. Let's get into it. Once you have advanced custom fields ready and installed, you can go ahead and create a custom post type if you need it. I'll be using a custom post type called Projects. I have three of those created, Project 1, Project 2 and Project 3. This of course also works if you're just using the standard WordPress posts. So once you have that ready, we need to create our field group. So we're gonna go under ACF, field groups, and we're gonna press add field group. I'm gonna name it project data, but obviously you can name it whatever you want, whatever you need. And then for the field type, I'm gonna leave it as text. This works for text, for text area, and for the what you see is what you get editor. I like using just text. I'll give it a field label. I'm gonna call it video embed code. And for the field name is generated automatically. I'm gonna leave it as is, but we are gonna need this later. Below under settings, I'm just gonna make sure I have a rule in place. So I wanted to show this field group if post type is equal to project. By doing this, I can use it for my custom post type that I created earlier. I'm gonna save changes and that is the first part done. Before we continue, if this video is helpful, please make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Be a doer, not just a viewer. It really does help me out a whole lot. Now, if I go into my projects and open one up by pressing edit, I can add in my embed code over here. I'll be using Vimeo because I prefer it for embedding videos into websites. So I'm gonna go into my uh, Vimeo dashboard. I'm gonna find my video. I'm gonna press share embed. Then I'm gonna press copy embed code. Once I have that copied, I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm gonna press save. For my second project, I'm gonna add in the video embed code that I copied from Vimeo and modified so that the video auto plays. And then I'm gonna press save. Anyhow, once we have this done, it's time to add in our code. We're gonna go under Appearance Theme File Editor. We're gonna add in our code to our functions.php file. Now, before you continue, I really recommend that you first back up your website. And I also really recommend that you use a child theme for this. If you don't have a child theme installed, I have a video on how you can install it very quickly and very easily. The link to that video will also be in the description. We're gonna press functions.php and once you're here, just paste in this code. As always, this will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in. Press update file and that's it. After you add in the code, you need to add in a short code wherever it is you're planning on showing the embedded videos. I'll be using Elementor's HTML widget but any page builder you're using should have a similar widget available. I'm gonna add it to my loop grid so I can display my projects in a post format. So I need to go ahead and edit the loop grid, edit the template that I created earlier. I have a container 
with a post title widget inside of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add in an HTML widget. So I'm going to type in HTML and I'm going to drag this above my post title. So my videos show up at the top. And here's the crucial part, we need to add in the shortcode that we just created with the code. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in. And then there's just one more thing we need to do, we have to type in our field name in these quotation marks, you can find that by going into ACF field groups, open up the field group, and then open up the field. So video embed code. And here it is the field name video embed code. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. And that's it. Let's update this and take a look at the live page. And here it is, we have our regular embedded video added to our custom post type with all of the controls. But we could easily embed this video using ACFs O embed field, the one we're really interested in is over here, our auto playing Vimeo video with no controls, titles or anything else showing just the actual video. And then I just added the embed code from one of my videos, YouTube videos to project three, just to show you that this does work with YouTube videos as well. I also modified it so that it auto plays, even though I don't show how to do that in the video where I show you how to get videos to auto play. And the reason is that I really prefer Vimeo for auto playing videos because you can actually get videos with no controls. With YouTube, you're always going to get all of the controls, titles and information showing up, you get these black edges on the top and on the bottom when it's playing. Plus the whole video embed has a different aspect ratio than the actual video. So in short, Vimeo just works more like I would expect an embedded video to work. And obviously, all of this works for different post types in different situations. I just recently used it on a website I'm currently building. I combined it with Elementor's loop grid to build a portfolio for my client. So instead of static images, they can show videos and the individual projects once they're done, will also have auto playing videos combined with static images, really cool. And since it's all built with advanced custom fields, it's really easy for them to add and manage content themselves. What's also really easy is hitting those like and subscribe buttons. So make sure you do that. And then go check out this video next. If you found this video interesting, I guarantee you're gonna find that one very interesting as well. Thank you for watching.